Hello, let me see if I can go through and invite some people. I don't think that's the current party link. So I'm going to delete that. Delete comment. There, let me invite a few people. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to use this seasoning, which is absolutely delicious, or if I want to combine all of these with the Southwest Ranch, which would be roasted garlic aioli. Okay, there we go. Roasted garlic aioli. Uh, the Italian seasoning, which is not even opened yet. The CCB. Hi, Marcia. Welcome. Uh, the sesame ginger with a little bit of the Southwest Ranch to give it just a little heightened of a kick. And a dash of salt and pepper. So, should I use all those or should I use the sweet chili seasoning? Okay, that helped a little bit. But the light behind me, I'm going to go turn that off real quick. Wrong one. That one. There we go. And then you are defrosted enough. You're still frozen, but defrosted enough. We're going to do a turkey tenderloin. I got to find the way to open you. I hate fighting with these plastic thing tabs. Especially when you're mostly blind. So, let's get... So I'm trying to decide if I want to use all those seasonings or if I want to use the sweet chili. I'm thinking the sweet chili because last time I used that and I put it with the, the vegetables, it was amazing. So I'm just going to take this and dump it directly into the crock pot. And I'm going to set that in the sink. So my crock pot is sitting right over here. And then I'm going to use two cans of cream and mushroom soup as well. If I do that, I can't do the sweet chili. Hmm. I'm going to do one can of cream mushroom soup with all the seasonings, not the sweet chili. So we're going to put the sweet chili back because we'll use the sweet chili on the next turkey tenderloin. So before I, I do all that, let's go ahead and slice up some potatoes. My bag of colorful potatoes. Cut it through. So we're going to use the epicure scissors and hold my fingers away. They are extremely sharp, but work really well. And my measuring spoon is not in here. So I'm going to guess that that is in the sink or, or the dishwasher. It was in the dishwasher. Found it. Measuring spoon because we're going to need it for all the wonderful seasons that we have down here. We're going to start now by cutting up the potatoes. I'm just going to dump out a few onto my cutting board here. I'm just using the petite um, potatoes that I got from Kroger yesterday. They're, when I say petite, they're petite. My knife is a little overkill, but that's okay. I'm going to cut off that eye because we don't want the eye. And I'm just going to quarter them. So they're about that size. So we're going to get our potatoes in there with, with our tenderloin. Keep reaching over there because that's where the crock pot is. So how's your morning going? I'm not sure if I'm seeing comments yet because on my phone I don't always see comments in the group. So we shall see. And then red potatoes, yellow potatoes, the Yukon Golds. I love potatoes. They're so good. This one's a little bit bigger than the others, so I'm going to cut it in threes. And then I have some carrots to slice up as well. I love how purple that potato is. So 
So I'm just going to get creative with these seasonings as soon as I'm done cutting up pota potatoes. If I'm not seeing comments, I'm sorry. I will check them when I get back to my computer. I didn't bring my computer in here this time. So, And that was just cutting up about 10 of the baby, baby potatoes. And they're in the crock pot. Now, before I do... I need to wipe my hand off with my towel. I don't have any of our cream mushroom soup. Uh, that was in for the winter. It's no longer winter time. It's getting to be winter time again, so they might bring it back. But instead, I'm going to use a can of cream mushroom soup. And I'm going to pour that on top. So we got our cream mushroom soup that's going on top of the crock pot. I'll end with the tenderloin and the potatoes. Make sure I get every last bit out of here. And I'm thinking I'm going to do two cans. I know I said one, but we're going to switch it to two. I grabbed out another one. And these are the low sodium ones as well. Because I want to be able to control the salt intake for, for everything I do. So I always buy the low sodium. So, And I'm just dumping that directly on top of the tenderloin that is in the crock pot. So give me one minute and I will show you before we add all those amazing seasonings. We have the potatoes and the tenderloin and the cream mushroom soup in there. Now I want to slice up some carrots. So we're doing potatoes and carrots. And all these chunks left over from when I actually grated carrots are going in there as well. So I keep every little scrap. If I don't always use up the whole carrot when I'm grating them, I put it back in my little bowl here and we use it. That's the only part about cutting carrots I don't like is it's it's loud. So we're gonna I'm not gonna do very many carrots because I'm the only one in the family that really likes to cook carrots. Hi Michelle, welcome. Or should I say Cassie? <laughs> I'm not seeing comments. But I will check them when I get back to my computer. I'm trying to quietly cut up the, the carrots. And I'm just doing bite-sized carrots. That just rolled out of my hand. And there again, any little bits I have left from when I was grating carrots is going in there. So... I'm not going to do very many carrots because I'm the, there again. I'm the only one that really eats carrots. So between all the little pieces I had in here and that, that's a good amount of carrots. Now for the wonderful seasonings I am going to use, I'm going to come in with. I don't have anything peppery here, so I'm going to take a dash of my pepper. Now that I'm done cutting, we can move you out of the way. I got my wonderful measuring spoon. And we're going to put the crock here in front of me. Now I'm going to unplug you while I'm doing this. Because you're not on yet. So the crock pot is right here. So far we have the tenderloin, the potatoes, and the carrots. Now comes for the wonderful seasonings. We're going to do pepper. That's it. That's about six shakes of the pepper. Tiny dash of salt, that is it. I like to be able to control the salt intake. I don't know why I still have this spoon in here. I don't need it. Um, we're going to come in with a full tablespoon of the garlic aioli. This is wonderful. It makes a, a great dip as well. So a full tablespoon of the garlic aioli. Make sure that goes all on top. It smells amazing. And then this one is the new Italian seasoning. I have to open this. It's not even opened yet. So we're going to open this. Oh, it smells good. We're going to do a half a tablespoon of that. Yum. So that's going to go on top as well. I... Just so you know, I keep dropping things because I'm having one of my days. 
It's been one of those mornings. And then we're going to come in with the CCB, which is just a mixture of imitation bacon, uh, pinto beans, sunflower oil, salt, yeast extract, Parmesan cheese, um, chives, and black pepper. So you still get a little bit of the pepper. So we're going to put a little bit of the CCB in here. That's a half te tablespoon. Because I'm not filling it all the way, so I'm guessing maybe it's about a half. And then we're going to come in with a quarter teaspoon. I'm using this side, a quarter teaspoon of the Southwest Ranch. This is smelling amazing. Yes, I know I'm aware I'm putting a lot in here. Hi, Crystal. Welcome. I'm not seeing comments, but I will check them when I get back to my computer. So that, and I'm not going to use this full little bit of the Southwest Ranch, but I just want a little bit for that little thing. That was maybe a quarter of a quarter teaspoon. <laughs> and then I'm going to come in with a little bit of the sesame ginger, and we're going to sprinkle that on top as well. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon. So we're going to sprinkle that on top as well. So, yum. And that is literally all the seasonings that we are using today. So, we used the sesame ginger. This is wonderful. Um, we used the Southwest Ranch. We used the CCB. We used the new Italian seasoning. This is wonderful. It is in the last call section. And the roasted garlic aioli. And then we got our tenderloin, carrots, potatoes, and two cans of cream mushroom soup in the crock pot. Now we're going to cook it low and slow all day until everything gets tender and marinated together. Just so you know, that is what it looks like before it's cooked, of course. Um, I will take a picture of it, and then when dinner is done, I will take a picture of it, and I'll show the finished product. Thank you for watching, and I, there again, I will check comments here in a little bit.